Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you a tool which will help you analyze the performance of your e-commerce website, whether it is WooCommerce, Shopify, BigCommerce, or any other e-commerce website that you are running. You can integrate all these websites in a single dashboard and you can see the performance of your e-commerce website in a single dashboard. You can also integrate Google Analytics, PayPal, to checkout, Stripe, and many other tools in a single dashboard. So this dashboard is going to process the data and it will give you the perfect analysis of your online store. So let's see how does this work. Let me first show you the website. This is the website butler.com. If you want to see the features of this tool, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can visit this website and see all the features using my link in the description box. Monitor, manage, analyze, grow. So this is all about the analytics of your business, which products are selling, what are the analytics of your WooCommerce, of your website. Everything can be integrated in a single dashboard. You can integrate around 17 different services into the particular dashboard. Here you will see the list, PayPal, Stripe, you can see the PayPal activity on this particular dashboard, Stripe, Authorize.net, ToCheck.com. You can see the WooCommerce is also there. So you can integrate your WooCommerce website in the particular dashboard. All the analytics of your WooCommerce website will be shown in a single dashboard. So if you have multiple WooCommerce website, you can integrate multiple WooCommerce website and you can analyze which products are selling fast and what is the performance of your WooCommerce store. You can also integrate Shopify, Etsy, Easy Digital Downloads, MailChimp, Google Analytics. So if you have Google Analytics running on different websites, you can integrate all the Google Analytics account into the particular dashboard and you can monitor the activity in a single dashboard. So if you have WooCommerce website, if you have Shopify website, if you have Google Analytics, all those tools, all those services can be integrated into a single particular dashboard and you can monitor all the activities in a single dashboard. You can also have 14 days free trial. So if you want to see how does this work, you can go for the 14 days free trial. Here you will see the demo dashboard. Let me open the demo dashboard. This is the demo dashboard. This will give you an idea about how does this work. On the dashboard, you can see the sales. What is the sale? Today's sale, yesterday's sale. Everything will be shown here. So if you integrate the WooCommerce website, it will show the details here. This is the last activity. Who has bought the product? Last three months revenue. So this dashboard can also be customized. It will capture the data from the Google Analytics or WooCommerce and it will show the visitors here. Now here you will see sales. If you go to sales, it will show the net sale, daily average, orders, how many orders. You can see the calendar also, average revenue per sale. It is going to calculate the average revenue per sale. Here you will see the latest activities, which product is sold who has bought the product. If you click on it, it will show the sale detail here. This person has bought this product. Everything will be shown here. You don't need to go to the WooCommerce website. If you have multiple WooCommerce website, you don't need to go to each website and check this activities and check the analysis. Everything will be shown in a single dashboard. Here you will see products. Now it will list all the products of your website. Quantity sold. Here you will see the products, all the products. 18 customers, 18 orders, how many refunds, revenue, how many, what is the revenue generated by this product. If I click on it, it will give you the details of this product, the name of the product, what is the gross revenue, refund, how many orders, who are the customers. So it is fully customized dashboard. There are many filters that you can apply. Let's go to customers. It will show you the list of customers. So this is the list of customers. You will see loyal customers, potential loyalist. So it is going to process the data. It is going to process your WooCommerce data and it will categorize all the customers. Who are the loyal customers? Who are the new customers? Who are the returning customers? You can see kind, at risk, lost, hibernating, about to sleep. So these are the categories it has created for the customers. Here you will see the list. Total number of customers, 160. Average customers per day, 5.7. Revenue free versus paid. If I click on any customer, it will show me the details of that customer. So what products are purchased. Let's go to next one that is transaction. Here you will see the details of the transactions, fees, taxes, total amount, transaction, how many transactions are there. You can also filter them according to the location. If I click on North America, it will show the details from the North America. Let's go to next subscription. 
if you are running subscription product it will show the details of the subscription monthly recurring revenue churn rate so everything will be processed here next one will be time machine so this is a demo dashboard it's not actually the dashboard which is connected to any this will just give you an idea how does this work web analytics so if you have multiple website it's going to show it here if i click on it this is the demo website it will show the analytics of that particular website 559 unique visitors total page views it is basically the google analytics data which is shown here here you will see store a store b so if i go to store a it will show the data of the store a so you can integrate multiple stores now let me show you the pricing of this tool let's go to the website go to pricing and here are the pricing the startup plan will start with 20 dollars per month that is for single user three data sources right now you can see there are 17 data sources out of which you can use three data sources i do have the account let me log into the account the starter plan will start with 20 dollars per month up to two years historical data issue refunds manage subscription these are the features in the starter plan if you go with the growth plan it will cost you 50 dollars per month and you can have unlimited users unlimited teams and 15 data sources you can connect 15 data sources if you want to integrate WooCommerce and Google Analytics two data sources you can go with the startup plan let me show you I have just logged in and these are the these are the data sources that I can connect let's see if I connect to WooCommerce if I go to WooCommerce I need to install the plugin let me enter the URL this is the dummy website that I'm going to link let me enter the website URL and click on install plugin so this is the plugin so I'm going to install it now okay so this is the plugin Butler. so I'm going to activate it all right so it has authenticated and it is successfully installed your transactions are getting synced with Butler. so it is going to send a request to the Butler. let's see if here you can see importing data so it's going to take some time to import the data from WooCommerce and after that I will be able to use this kind of dashboard on my Butler account so this tool is going to save a lot of your time because you can see the performance of your e-commerce website or the analytics of your website in a single dashboard it is going to process the data it will show you the highlighted data what is the net sales you can see there what is the daily average it's going to show it here so if you want to save the time and if you want to analyze the performance of your WooCommerce store or the e-commerce website and your business in a single dashboard, then you should consider using this tool. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.